This is the AnyCubic Cobra S1 Max. And why do they call it Max? For one big reason. With a 350 by 350 build plate, this absolutely dwarfs the competition. So I recently got this S1 Max in my shop. Can't wait to crack into it. So got up on my workbench. A pretty heavy, pretty solid machine for sure. But uh, started unboxing it and everything uh, put together. So everything came really well packed. I was really pleased with that. And assembly was really straightforward. Couldn't have been any easier. So if you have put together other 3D printers in the past, very similar to that, user manual is very straightforward. And connecting this machine to the phone app couldn't have been easier. You just basically scan a QR code and it just linked right up. So this AnyCuber really has a ton going for it. Not only does it have that huge print bed size, which is gonna be awesome, but it also can do up to 120 degrees on that heated bed. In, in closure, it keeps everything nice and warm so you can kind of do some exotic filaments with that higher temp. Uh, print head is going to be 350 degrees and also what I really like is this ACE2 Pro. Now this ACE2 Pro, it heats and dries the filament so you're not going to, if you live in a humid climate, it's going to really help out with that. So this ACE2 Pro is great because you can actually lock it so it's got the, a rubber seal that goes all the way through so once you get your filament in there you can lock it in place, everything's going to be nice and sealed and it's going to keep that humidity out nice and dry filament. Flipping around to the back side of the machine, you have the H2 Pro up here, so it does require separate power because it does have the heating feature. And you see the four cables and four tubes running into the machine, so you can select the four different colors. Nowadays, it's expandable up to 16 colors as well, important to note. So one of my favorite features with this S1 Max is the side chute. Now most printers, they, what they call poop, they poop out the back with your extra filament. Now this goes from the side, which I don't know why every printer doesn't do this because Usually the back is really inconvenient. So love that feature. What a time saver just being able to clear it right away. So there really is a ton to be excited about this S1 Max. Now it does have the hardened steel hot end, which gives you those high temp speeds. Also the Core XY uh, drive system, which is super fast. So compared to those old printers of the past, this is uh, definitely the future for that. So stay tuned to my channel. I'm gonna do a full length video on this machine. Super excited to really test the printing capabilities and how well it does. And as always, I'm Chad from Chad DIY. We'll see you on the next one.